morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is October the 1st of 2024. And again, good morning to you. I am in Job chapter 24 and I have my hot cup of coffee right here ready to be enjoyed. And I hope you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful day today as we get started. Our point to ponder this morning, very, very true. Amy Carmichael stated, You can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. You can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. Very, very true. Let me put that aside and again wish you a very, very good morning. Um, in just a few moments, we're going to bow together for a word of prayer. Um, if I can ask you to pray for a dear friend, um, his name is Jeremy. Um, that's what we'll tell you. He did have a visit to ER yesterday. Um, my understanding is he was released, but continue to pray for Jeremy. Again, we're getting very, very close to that nine o'clock hour. And so we're going to go ahead bow our heads and bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray. Dear Father, again, we thank you for a brand new day, a brand new start. And Father, as we get started today, we do want to ask your blessing upon all that happens today. For each one of us, Father, you already know. And regardless of what comes our way, we are reminded that you are with us. And that, yes, your grace is sufficient. And through your grace, sometimes we are tested. Sometimes we just receive blessings from your hands. And life is literally at its best. Father, we recognize that these things are from your hands. The circumstances that we find ourselves in today are from your hands. And Lord, as we lift our hearts before you, we do ask again that you would bless us by meeting each and every one of our needs. That you would strengthen us for the task at hand, that we might see that in our weakness that you are made strong and your grace always is sufficient. Father, we pray that you would encourage your people to continue to keep on keeping on. And Lord, be glorified in each one of us. May our lives be such that you can look upon us and smile. Father, as we look at our lives, as we look at and we lift our day before you, Father, we do want to remember Jeremy. You know the condition, you know what he's experiencing, and Father, we lift him into your presence, and we pray not only for him, we pray for his family. Father, guide and direct. Strengthen minister to them today and father continue to um, guide them in regards to jeremy's care lord as we continue to look at the day and we continue to contemplate your people there are so many things that we do not know even when it comes to our relationship with you, you are far beyond what the human mind can comprehend. But Father, we do ask that you would teach us. Teach us from your word as we open it up together. And Father, apply it. Apply it to our lives. That we might reflect Jesus Christ more accurately in the world in which we live. And Father, use us. Use our lives. 
Father, we ask these things in Christ's wonderful and holy name. Amen. Matthew, excuse me, not Matthew, Job. Job, chapter 24. Why? Seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they that know him not see his days? Some remove the landmarks. They violently take away flocks and feed thereof. They drive away the ass of the fatherless. They take the widow's ox for a pledge. They turn the needy out of the way. The poor of the earth hide themselves together. Behold, as wild asses in the desert go they forth to their work, rising betimes for a prey, the wilderness yieldeth food for them and for their children. They reap every one his corn in the field, and they gather the vintage of the wicked. They cause the naked to lodge without clothing, that they have no covering in the cold. They are wet with the showers of the mountains, and embrace the rock for want of a shelter. They pluck the fatherless from the breast and take a pledge of the poor. They cause him to go naked without clothing, and they take away the sheep from the hungry, which make oil within their walls and tread their wine presses and suffer thirst. Men groan from out of the city, and the soul of the wounded crieth out, Yea, God layeth not folly to them. They are of those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof nor abide in the paths thereof. The murderer rising with the light killeth the poor and needy, and in the night is as a thief. The eye also of the adulterer awaited for the twilight, saying, No eye shall see me, and disguiseth his face. In the dark they dig through houses, which they had marked for themselves in the daytime. They know not the light, for the morning is to them even as the shadow of death. If one know them, they are in the terrors of the shadow of death. He is as swift as the waters, their portion is cursed in the earth. He beholdeth not the way of the vineyards. Drought and heat consume the snow waters, so doth the grave those that have sinned. The womb shall forget him, the worm shall feed sweetly on him. He shall be no more remembered, and wickedness shall be broken as a tree. He evil entreateth the barren that beareth not, and doth not good to the widow. He draweth also the mighty with his power. He riseth up, and no man is sure of life. Though it be given him to be in safety, whereon he resteth, yet his eyes are upon their ways. They are exalted for a little while, but are gone and brought low. They are taken out of the way as all other, and cut off as the tops of the ears of corn. And if it be not so now, who will make me a liar, and make my speech nothing worth? And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Passage reminds me of, I believe it's Psalm 71, Psalm 72. My feet were almost fallen. And the psalmist there describes himself as losing hope, losing faith, losing. And then he finally gets to, until I understood their end. Sometimes we see the wicked prosper, sometimes we see the wicked. Um, with no adversity, you know, and we shake our heads, why do we try to continue being faithful? Well, again, let me just encourage you not to so much look at their lives as they are now, but consider their end. Again, I believe that one day, literally, all wrongs will be made right. It is for you and I in the midst of this life, whether we can explain circumstances or not, it is for you and I to be faithful. 
faithful in all things, obedient, submissive to God, the only true God, the almighty God, and to never stand in the way through our actions or attitudes of one coming to him. Beloved, please, on this Tuesday, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.